Hi my foodie friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I want to wish all my Muslim friends a very happy Hadi Raya, Eid Mubarak. Today, I'm going to share some of the very special Eid uh, desserts with you guys and uh, I have made on this special occasion. So let's get started. We are going to start by making first dessert that is custard sevaya kheer or custard vermicelli kheer. So we will start the gas and take a small pan and now we will add milk 1 cup and boil it for 5 minutes. Now the milk has boiled and now I'm going to add vermicelli in it 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml and give a little mix. Now add sugar 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml and give a good mix and boil for few more minutes till vermicelli is cooked. To make custard mixture, take a small cup and add milk 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml and custard powder 1 tablespoon or 15 ml and give a good mix. Make sure that there will be no lumps in it. Now the milk is thick and vermicelli is cooked. Now low the gas flame and cool it little bit. I'm going to add custard mixture in it and keep mixing to avoid any lumps. At last add cardamom powder or elaichi powder, a pinch and mix well. The mixture is creamy and thick then remove from the gas and serve. Custard mixture is ready. You can garnish it with some nuts. I use the almonds, walnuts and cashews. Now, the next dessert would be suji kheer or semolina kheer. We will start the gas and take a small pan and now we will add ghee or butter 1 tea teaspoon. Now add suji or semolina 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml. Now roast it for 2 to 3 minutes. Now add sugar 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml and give a good mix again. Now we will add milk 1 cup and mix well and boil it for 2 to 3 minutes. Now add cardamom powder or elaichi powder a pinch for the flavor. Add nuts to give a good flavor to the suji kheer and stir it and cook for 1 minute. I have used almonds, cashews, uh, walnuts. Semolina or suji kheer is almost ready. You can garnish it with some nuts again on the top. Now the next dessert would be sevaya kheer or vermicelli kheer. 
So we will start the gas and take a small pan and now we will add ghee or butter 1 teaspoon. You can add little bit more but I'll prefer less. Add sevaya or vermicelli 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml and now roast it for 2 to 3 minutes. Now add nuts like walnuts, almonds, cashews, pistachios to give a good flavor to the sevaya ghee. After this, stir it and cook for one more minute. Now we will add milk, one cup, and mix well and boil it for three to four, three to five more minutes. Looks like milk has boiled and vermicelli is cooked. So. So this is the time to add sugar, 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml and give a good mix and boil it for one more minute and then close the flame. Save your kid or one silly kid is ready. The next dessert would be wheat or atta halwa. We will start the gas and take a small pan and now we will add water 3 by 4 cup or 180 ml add jaggery or good 1 by 4 cup or 60 ml and boiled it till the jaggery dissolve in the water properly here the jaggery dissolved in the water so put it aside now take another pan and add ghee or butter 1 by 8 cup or 30 ml. Add wheat or atta 1 by 4 cup or 60 ml. Stir gently for few minutes till the color changes. Now add the nuts to give more flavor to the wheat halwa like almonds, walnuts, cashews, whatever you like then mix well. Now add jaggery water in it and give a good stir. Make sure there is no lumps. Now add cardamom powder or light tea a pinch. Wheat or atta halwa is ready. You can garnish with some nuts again on the top. Now the next dessert would be fruit seed custard. We will start the gas and take a small pan and now we will add milk 2 cups or 500 ml and boil it for 5 to 10 minutes. With this I will also make custard mixture. Take a small cup and add milk 2 tablespoon and custard powder 2 teaspoon and give a good mix. Make sure that there will be no lumps in it. Now add cardamom powder or elaichi powder, a pinch in the milk. Add sugar, 4 to 5 teaspoon. Now give a good mix and leave it uh, for boiling again for 5 minutes. Now the milk has boiled, so low the gas flame and cool it little bit. 
Now I'm going to add the custom mixture in it and keep mixing to avoid any lumps. So this is almost ready. Uh, so I'm going to freeze it for two to three hours. After three to four hours, the custard is out and needs to cool down. See, it's so strong, it's so solid, so needs to be in the room temperature. Now the custard is in room temperature and not solid, so it's the time to add the fruits in it. So I have uh, the fruits, so I'm gonna add those fruits, uh, whatever I'm available in my house. So mango, apple, grapes, blueberry you can and you can add any fruits you want and now I'm gonna give a good mix to it Now I'm going to add uh, again some fruits to decorate it more like mango, apple, grapes, blueberry. You can add some uh, dry, uh, dry fruits also um, uh, like uh, almonds, cashews, walnuts if you want if you like to eat um, the dry nuts in the custard. ready the custard is ready looks yummy so friends if you like my video recipes please comment on my comment section and like share and do subscribe to my channel it's me Nancy Vuoma bye bye